The standout features of the viaduct is its great central span of more than 350 feet in length and its curving bowstring lattice of girders. The bridge had been built with the changing nature of the River Spey in mind. The river can often surge and change direction depending on the amount of rainfall so it had to be big enough to take this into account. The initial plan had been to build three separate bridges spanning the Spey. But the viaduct option with a great board central truss was chosen instead. Taking in all spans, the viaduct was 950 feet long and is a fantastic example of Victorian engineering. So the viaduct itself was built between 1883 and 1886 by the Blakey brothers. Uh, these were engineers from Aberdeen and designed by Blythe and Cunningham and Patrick Barner. The bridge was constructed to take a single track railway along the Great North of Scotland's coastal route between Port Soy and Elgin. The river crossing was a serious business in those days and required an expert level of engineering know-how. John Fife and Co were responsible for the foundations and masonry. These were concrete filled iron girders that were used to create the circular ashlar pillars at either side of the viaduct and were driven into the ground to a depth of between 35 to 75 foot deep depending on the embankment of the spay. Blakey Brothers would have used steam cranes and a riveting machine to speed up the construction process of the ironworks. Only 40 engineers were required to construct the viaduct at the cost of £40,000. This was £15,000 more than previously estimated. The course of the spare had to be redirected using a concrete spine wall. When the viaduct was completed it ran below the main span.